Dear Pisces, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. If you're new, please click subscribe so you don't miss a video. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for you? In the coming week, if you were led to this message... Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Pisces. Oh, my God. <laughs> Very freaking good news. Okay, so I have date here. And I don't know, like, what I'm showing you because I'm all out of, like, the light. Okay. Can you guys see this? I have date. It says meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date, okay? So many of you are already talking to somebody. You have your minds likely set on getting to know them. Um, hello. It's going to be a good time. Someone's going to ask you out. Wedding rings, you guys, though. So I feel like the next person who asks you out on a date, please consider them seriously not take them seriously depending on like how they earn your trust right but consider them seriously because i'm seeing that oh my god venus kazimi you guys just 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 youtube it okay i'm not gonna get into it because i'm not an astrologer but oh my god this weekend is venus kazimi c-a-z-i-m-i -I. you're like in the heart of the sun right now like there's extra magic you know what i mean for whoever you're talking to so what else someone may ask you out um those in union can expect a proposal soon i mean what is this all about it says union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise thank you holy spirit on behalf of dear All right. <laughs> Meeting someone new, eh? Dating, getting back out there, planning, setting a date. Could be setting a wedding date sooner than you think. Oh, my God. Dealing with Virgos, Capricorns, and Tauruses or not. King of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles flew out. So I feel like you and yours maybe have been stacking and saving, okay? This is my stacker saver card, the Seven of Pentacles. Um, but also like, you know, you just hope for more. Now the King of Pentacles is somebody very secure and sure and who builds trust, um, and builds strong foundations and is able to provide a leader, a father figure. Um, so you guys, I feel like the next person you could be dealing with earth signs, dear Pisces, but whomever it is, they're truly trying to lay down a, a perfect foundation so that you guys cannot miss. Okay. This is going to be a hit. A hit, a hit, a hit. I'm telling you, the date turns into the wedding, okay? Eventually, for dear Pisces. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What else? What is, uh, let's see, what's coming in for them on this date, with this date? What more can you tell us? Someone stable in their life? What more can you tell about the person, Holy Spirit? Ah, <gasps> Eight of Cups. This could be somebody that you walked away from or, or had no clue or inkling that you would ever get involved with, okay? So somebody quite literally that you turned your back on. Interesting. Suddenly, right, things change for the better. Let's see what else. <clears throat> Six of Cups, definitely somebody you have history with. Could be another water sign. This is definitely somebody that you feel bonded to, okay? Soulmate union. Also, I'm getting best friend energy. So le the likelihood is you never thought you would marry your best friend, right? <laughs> that is everyone's desire, I'm sure. But quite literally, there could be someone's best friend looking to ask them out. You might be surprised, okay, at how good you guys could be in a relationship Aw, you guys. What is unbeknownst to dear Pisces here? What's something that you might not be aware of if you're in a soulmate connection right now? Or if you have just begun seeing someone? We have the seven of wands. Okay, so it's not going to come easy peasy breezy. Okay, um, especially if dealing with fire signs. Somebody might be on the defense. Somebody might not want to give in to the connection at first. Again, I feel like there will be hesitation, especially if this is a friend of yours, okay, that you kind of just wanted to stay friends. There will be somebody combating this union, all right? That's what it is. So, dear Pisces, either you or they will have to face some opposition. 
Um, but how can you move forward from that? If someone is trying to fight their desire for you, or if you are actually trying to not have um, certain feelings for someone in your life right now, what 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 do you really need to um, do with that? Okay, I feel like it is safe for you to get with this person because again, wedding ring wedding rings screams longevity. There, you may not want to uh, you know sabotage a grand future together. Okay, so what do you need to know about the seven of wands? Eight of Wands, exactly. You need to grow. You need to let this situation and this relationship flourish. There's so much more potential here for you and someone near and dear to you, especially de dealing with Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, all right? There's so much more. Don't combat uh, potential or a prospect of dating someone in your life, all right? Start to talk to them like, like how they... Um, like how they want you to, you know, start to give in to, to, to the desire. Cause I feel like you're just fighting it off. It's not that you don't feel the chemistry you do, but likely again, you might have just turned your back on this and thought you were finished or that you didn't want to ever trespass, you know? Oh, thin line, thin line between friend and lover here for someone. Okay, let's go. But again, so much more than a lover. More than a lover. More than a lover. Oh, I'm just, I heard Aaliyah. More than a lover. Okay. Um, I wish I could sing. Don't worry. Next life. I promise y'all. I will be Mimi. I'll be like Melissa Carey up in here. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is the intention of the person that might ask their Pisces out in the coming week? We know that they're dating and it could lead to marriage or they want to date you and it could lead to marriage. Their intent, oh my God, is hella yeah, a new beginning. Oh my God, Aries is all over this, okay? But this is a new beginning, a new start, the fool. And many of you might feel like, wow, what are you talking about? Like, these people are fools. Like, you know, like, what are you talking about? You want me? What are you talking about? We should go on a date, you know? Like, but this person is like, look, I see you differently now. This person is hopeful. It could be a younger person, younger than you, okay, Pisces? Also, this person, again, look at that best friend energy with the dog in the corner there. But yeah, you could be a dog owner. They could have a dog. It is what it is. They want a new start with you. And they feel these warm feelings for you because they likely got to know you under the guise of friendship for so long. Or if you're in union, again, expect to go out and be able to talk marriage, be able to um, talk proposals, things of that nature. Talk about the future, all right? Woo! Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see. Romance Angels advice for those in union right now. Spirit, what are you confirming or denying for the Pisces Collective in the coming week? Yeah. <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. You heard it says work on your freaking partnership. Look, you're it's the it's the road, okay? On the road to wait, come on. Why don't I know the lyrics to any song that I like? On the road to riches and diamond rings. Hey, real people do real things. Okay, you guys, give your relationships a chance. Um, a very fortunate streak. Again, don't fight any feelings you have for someone. If like, kind of like sweetest ta uh, sweetest taboo vibes. Okay, Shade, sweetest taboo vibes. Somebody's giving you that feeling of a sweet taboo. Don't try and oppose it. Okay, move from that seven of wands energy up to the eight. Says spirit. And right about now, I want to get a lovers tarot spread for you all, okay? Your energy to the left, dear Pisces. The person on your mind to the right. What draws your souls together? Potential problem areas as well as your solution. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dear Pisces, justice. Oh, things are going to work themselves out. There's uh, a Libra could be in your life that you're thinking about, that you miss, that you want to start dating. Okay, justice. It's all happening. Your person's energy, queen of freaking cups. Okay, they esteem you. Somebody's got you on the pedestal, seated on the throne of their heart. Look at the hearts with the crown. I mean, ugh. Dear Pisces, <laughs> somebody is in love with you and is really hoping to be able to hold your hand uh, 
quite for quite some time, okay? Hold your hand in marriage. Hold your hand in love on this journey. There's somebody so pleased to be with you and to be a part of your life. Oh my God, that eight of wands is back for that ass. That means you guys better start talking to these people. You better keep talking to these people. Keep the passion alive. Keep the connection alive. Holy Spirit is giving you a hell of a green light right now. If you want to, uh, da, 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 you got the green light. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, really? How beautiful. The problem, princess of wands. Ooh, maybe the problem is um, somebody rushing in too fast, too quickly. Okay, so again, keep communication between you. Let the, you know, um, you know, feelings be shared and, you know, like keep it hot, keep it interesting, but maybe someone's rushing in too heavily. Okay. This could be their energy dear Pisces, um, is what might, you know, make you want to operate out of that seven of wands beyond defense energy. You know, maybe they're laying it on too thick. Okay. Hey, cross watchers message. Okay. Don't lay it on too thick with your dear Pisces. But definitely ask, you know, ask them on a date, you know, like handle your biz, be smooth about it, smooth operator vibes, all right? At the top of your situation to date, at your best, dear Pisces, you both on nine of pentacles, okay? So stable, happy, secure, okay, like abundant, abundant. This divine feminine has everything she wants all that she needs. All right. So this is what happens when you give love a chance, when you accept the date, dear Pisces. All right. This is your fortune again for the coming week. Here is an actual fortune card that I want to leave you with for you and whomever you might have been thinking about if it resonates. Okay. If you're claiming this message as well, please give it a thumbs up. That's how we give it up on my channel. Fortune for dear Pisces. <laughs> really though okay congratulations in freaking advance it says marriage i'm done because y'all got marriage twice okay so if you guys are engaged or whatnot or like starting relationships with like you know or talking to someone new please you know drop me a comment or something so i can shower you with some blessings because this is lovely this is beautiful it's vibrant you know handle your biz don't run from this if they're laying it on thick, it's just because they really want you, okay? Try and understand. Don't let them, um, like, scare you. I know Pisces, you, you're more sensible, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. They can be a little hot and crazy, and when both of y'all get together, it could get real steamy-like. <laughs> but don't eight of cups this. Don't run away from this connection. Marriage is in the future for you, dear Pisces. It says you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Be blessed. <laughs> Peace.